Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a winter wheat field located in southeastern Illinois, where a 502 engine horsepower Challenger 560C combine with a 350 bushel storage capacity is harvesting winter wheat 40 feet at a time with a McDon FD70 draper head. Challenger may be a combine brand that you're not as familiar with as other brands. It's a brand that Agco offered from 2002 through 2019. In this video, I would like to share with you a brief history of the Challenger Combine brand, as well as talking about the production history, specifications, and original price tag of the 560C. I'll also take viewers for a ride in the cab of this Challenger Combine, but first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this harvesting action. The Challenger name was coined for farm equipment in 1987 when Caterpillar introduced the industry's first rubber track tractor, the 270 engine horsepower Model 65. Through the late 1980s and into the early 1990s, Caterpillar continued to develop Challenger tractors, not only for heavy-duty tillage, but also for row crop work. Caterpillar expanded its agricultural product line in 1998 beyond rubber track tractors, with the addition of the Lexian Combine line manufactured by Kloss. These combines could be ordered with rubber tracks or tires. In December of 2001, Caterpillar announced that it would be exiting the farm machinery market to focus on its construction division. The Challenger rubber track tractor design was sold to Agco, as well as the Challenger brand name being licensed to the company. Starting in 2002, Agco announced a full range of Challenger products, including track tractors, wheeled tractors, hay and forge equipment, and combines. 
Edco sourced its Massey Ferguson Combine line, manufactured in Heston, Kansas, to create the Challenger Combine line starting in 2002 with the model 660 and 670. These yellow 300 bushel combines are powered by Caterpillar C988 engines. The 660 is rated at 285 engine horsepower, and the model 670 is rated at 340 engine horsepower. For model year 2007, Agco launched the second generation of Challenger combines with the 600B series that included three machines. The 660B and 670B retained the 300 bushel grain bin storage capacity. These machines are powered by Agco Power 84 CTA engines. The 660B is rated at 300 engine horsepower. The model 670B is rated at 350 engine horsepower. A new flagship model 680B Top the line, powered by a Caterpillar C15 engine, rated at 425 engine horsepower, and this machine has a 350 bushel grain bin capacity. Challenger Combine struggled to gain market share in North America. Caterpillar dealers were the primary source for Challenger farm equipment, and they focused on selling rubber tracked and wheeled tractors from Agco and Lexian Combines, manufactured by Kloss. The vast majority of Caterpillar dealers did not even offer Challenger combines. On August 22, 2012, Agco announced two new series of combines manufactured in Heston, Kansas, the Massey Ferguson 9500 series and the Challenger 500C series. The Challenger 560C combine, working in this video, is based on the Massey Ferguson 9560 combine. The Challenger 500C series includes two 350 bushel combines, the model 540C and the 560C. They are powered by a 9.8 liter Agco Power 98 ATI 598 cubic inch engine. The 540C is rated at 426 engine horsepower and the 560C is rated at 502 engine horsepower. These combines are fitted with a 230 gallon diesel fuel tank and feature a two speed hydrostatic transmission. They are equipped with a 55.4 inch wide feeder house and feature a 31.5 inch diameter axial style rotor that is 140 inches long. The machine's 350 bushel grain tank unloads at 4.5 bushels per second from a standard 24.3 inch long unloading auger and they can be equipped with an optional 27.3 foot long unloading auger. The price of a Challenger 560C combine when it was new was $364,250. The 500E series from Challenger was announced in August of 2014 and manufactured through 2019 when the Challenger combine line was retired. Here's a neat view from the combine right by the elevator here in Willow Hill, Illinois, and we can see the CSX rail cars lined up at the elevator, and the winter wheat being harvested in this field is used for pastas, so the next time you're eating spaghetti, you might be eating some winter wheat from this field. Combine is running for about 4.3 to 4.5 miles per hour harvesting an 80 bushel crop. What kind of uh, moisture are you seeing today? I think they said it was around 14 is what I was testing today. Yeah. That's pretty good. So how do you like uh, running a Challenger Combine? It's not um, as common as other brands. We like it. It's nice and smooth and quiet and it does a good job for us. So I had a chance to film here a few years ago and you were running a cleaner A86 which was also an axle style rotor combine. What do you like about the upgrades and the Challenger from that earlier cleaner model? The engine in it, the seven cylinder engine, and then it's direct drive rotor. It seems like it got a lot more torque in the rotor for tougher crops. Well, that's uh, very handy, especially when you're running wheat and putting the whole, whole crop through the machine. Yep, yep definitely. It definitely seems like it has a, a smoother ride, uh, just going across the field a little quieter. And it also has that automatic clean out for the dust, I think. 
Yes, the, the automatic clean out on the uh, radiator is very nice. The other one we had, we'd have to stop in the middle of the day and clean it out, cutting dirty beans, and we never blow the radiator out all year. It's very nice. Definitely a great feature. Yes. Here we can see the view of the wheat field. The 350 bushel bin, the combine is making four passes up and down in the field and then it's going to go up here and turn around and unload on the go. See the combine is using auto steer. Which uh, guidance system do you use on this machine? Top gun. Top gun is what Echo uses. So it's got on it just and it just was. Well, it's doing a good job keeping the combine on course. Makes the day a little easier. Yes, it definitely takes fatigue off of you at the end of the day. See the combine has the Challenger logo in the steering wheel. Turn around here. about a 27 foot unloading auger gives plenty of clearance over the 40 foot draper to the grain cart the unloading auger unloads at four bushels per second so it has a really high rate of on low. Take a look back here in the hopper and see how quick the grain empties out. Thank you for spending some time out in the field watching this Challenger 560C Combine harvesting winter wheat. I would like to hear in the comment section below the video if you use a Challenger Combine on your farm. If you've enjoyed this presentation, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional Agco brand Combine content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos, including the Gleaner A86 Combine previously used by this farm. As always, thank you for watching.